Hey everyone, Brian with Instructional Tech here, and I got a short video today on using Pear Deck, but it's in a very specific situation. So let's say I've got some slides, and on my slideshow, I've got some transitions. So I'm gonna go into slide, transition, and this is where you animate text or the slide itself. So I've got a couple transitions here. If I play it, just a demo, what would normally happen in Google, so interaction with Pear Deck and they fly in and you, this would apply to slide transitions as well. Great. Now in Pear Deck, when I open it, it just snaps between the slides. The, the, the interactions or the animations don't come through unless you add this Chrome extension. So you need to go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Pear Deck Power Up. It's also linked below the video. Once this is added, you will maintain those transitions. Now. There's still a little bit of jitteriness and sometimes something specific might not work, but this is what you have to do to at least get started to figure out what, what does work. Now, um, so I've got it installed already. It's hidden, but you can find it in the little puzzle piece. See, I've got it right there. You don't actually need to click on it, but now in my slides, I've got this Pear Deck button here, which is kind of nice. I don't have to go through the menu. So when I've built out my slides and I'm ready to start, I'm gonna go to Pear Deck and it will open up the sidebar like normal and I'm gonna run this in instructor mode. So I'm going to start my lesson. And I'm going to go into instructor paste. And so it's it grabs all that information and it loads up the session. It's going to throw the projector window here. And if I was in a classroom and I had tool or a dual monitor, I would just take this and throw it up on my projector just like normal. I have the teacher dashboard. I'm just gonna set that aside right now and we would join and if you're watching this and you think oh i'm going to join it's already closed so don't worry about it so i'm going to close my join code waiting loading close so now here's the catch if i'm running from my teacher dashboard and i click on the next arrow it skips the transition it doesn't put them in there so i got to go back the only way to get transitions to run is to actually click on the projector window or use your space bar. And this is just like a normal presentation like you would do in a classroom. You back in the day before we had iPads and can move around, I would come up and I would click and there we go. There's my transitions. You can see there's a little bit of jitter there, but for the most part, it works. Um, and I can use the left and the right arrows or I can use the space bar. Um, so that's how it works. The teacher dashboard is still valuable, still keep this open because I can see responses as they come into the session. But when I actually, if a transition matters that much to your session, you need to make sure that you've got the extension added and that you need to click on the computer with the projector window open and that will run those transitions and again arrow keys also work space bar also works that kind of stuff hope that's helpful hope it clears up some things let me know in the comments if you have questions and we'll see you in the next video